When you look at this language, the use of language, the choice before us is clear. It's this deal or leave with no deal or no Brexit at all. Um, this sounds as if it was a heck of an uphill struggle for five hours yesterday. What do you expect the next shoe to fall in this story? Resignations? Well, we are obviously very early days, um, so we haven't even seen the Brexit text, um, so I don't exactly know what the detail is, and people will say we look what the detail is. But clearly what is coming out is that um, what Theresa May has gone for is Brexit in name only, which um, uh, as Lib Dems, um, we have always pointed out that that is really um, a, a very stupid um, um, outcome of it all. We give away all control, but have um, no nothing in return. So how she's going to sell that, particularly to her um, hard Brexiteers, uh, is, is for her only. But also, of course, in the end, um, the people themselves need to think that this is um, a reasonable outcome. Um, and as you probably know, we have been calling for a people's vote once we have the deal on the table. And this remains the only sensible option, really. Right. Before we get to that uh, people's vote, Vera, and good morning. Thank you for joining us. It's Naira in London. How likely is it that this deal that we currently have, which is the only option, according to Theresa May, is actually going to make it through a vote in Parliament? Well, we are meant to have um, a vote in Parliament, so we'll get a vote. Um, and uh, obviously the, the, the crucial point is what is the Labour Party's position, and they haven't um, really said anything. They have said in the past um, that they will respect the will of the people, but at the same time, they also want um, the same benefits as being members of the European Union. The two things clearly don't go together. Um, um, so they are looking at this um, shambolic Brexit deal as a way of actually getting um, to new elections, and that's really their political aim. Um, so let's wait and see what the Labour Party is, is going to say. Um, the Tory party is very clearly split. Um, and uh, the, the hard Brexiteers feel really betrayed and a lot of leavers feel really betrayed. And the only reason why Theresa May uh, can hold her position is that she says, I'm delivering on the will of the people. But um, have the uh, people uh, voted for a Brino deal, a Brexit in name only, that gives away all the control, um, but gives nothing in return. It, it is a, it's a very idiotic outcome. Um, in terms of the, 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 the outcomes, the City of London, um, it looks as if uh, that is going to be downgraded, so to speak, to equivalence pretty much as expected. So this tentative deal does very little to embolden or hunker down the City of London as well. Um, yes, because it really resolves very little. Um, everybody um, has sort of, uh, Theresa May will say, well, let's wait and see what the final deal that we are negotiating with the European Union after we have left the European Union is going to look like. And this is, um, I think, where Michael Gove is coming in and saying, oh, let's just wait and see. We can um, overturn all sorts of things. But um, the backstop itself, how much is the backstop, i.e. staying in the customs union de facto and staying in, in large parts of the single market, how much is that now fixed because we've agreed that now? And I think the European Union, th those guys will rub their hands because they, they think they have, have really got the UK in a trap. So we are away, um, we, are, we are no longer at the table, but we have to follow all the rules, regulations, have to continue with, with, with all the economic arrangements as before. So I can see them being very happy, but for the UK, I think it's, it's clearly humiliation and, 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 and the coming years, if this is what we are going to do, will show that. Right. And Vera, I know that you're calling for a people's vote, but given the developments of the past 24 hours, is a second referendum actually more of a material possibility now? Um, I haven't given up hope, um, and um, particularly because I ultimately think that the solution is with the people um, and the momentum of a people's vote um, is clearly with us. Um, we had nearly 700,000 people marching in London for a people's vote. Um, and if Theresa May cannot... Uh, cannot um, gather um, people around her, um, she, she herself might come to the conclusion that this is the only way out. She has said no to it so far, but she has said no to a customs union for two years, and uh, clearly she has got, gone back on her word on that one as well. So, you know, I, I'm ruling nothing out. You rule nothing out. Um, Jacob Rees-Mogg, we understand from some press reports, has suggested there could be an accident, which is a, a leadership challenge. Do you think that that's a real possibility? 
Well, that is really not for me to judge because I'm not a member of the Tory party. But um, clearly the, the hard Brexiteers um, feel very, very betrayed. Um, and it depends how, how, how angry they are and how many people they can gather around their, their side. Yep. Vera, would you rather a Labour government than this deal that we have on the table? What I really want is a people's vote. Um, and at the end of it, what I really want is um, that people come to their senses and we remain members of the European Union.